Hey, man, so what's your name? Patrick Nelling. Hey, are, you, uh, are you like the other guy there? You're in a union? Yeah, man, I'm in the Maritime Union of Australia. So could you tell me a little bit about that? What's that, the ship, like shipping? Or? Uh, no, I'm a wharfie here, work a uh, uh, longshoreman. Oh, OK. Yeah, work in the port here in Townsville, driving cranes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, union delegate and, uh, yeah. Well, I, I'm from Oakland, California, or I, that's where I've lived most of my life. And, of course, the ILWU is the union there. Yep, yep. And they got those big cranes. Are you guys under attack like we are? Yeah, yeah, jobs are always under attack. Yeah? Always under attack. And there's, uh, there might be a shift to change in government, maybe next year. And uh, the one we have so far in our state is going to a uh, uh, right-wing side. So we're going to have all our public sectors and that are all in trouble. So uh, could be in, in danger with all the... Uh, you know, uh, cutting jobs and privatising this and that, maybe. And uh, so now we've got to wait till next year for the federal elections. Yeah, well, so the unions here would support the Labour Party, I guess, like, right? Yes, that's right, that's right. Yeah, and because and, uh, it's the same with us. I'm public sector and they're just savaging us. They're blaming us for all the economic crisis back there. Right, OK, yeah. Uh, fortunately, I'm retired. Uh, are you also involved in... Uh, the other guy was telling me that it's, there's a union programme with the community and especially with the Indigenous community stuff. Are you involved with that? Yeah, I'm involved with that. Um, there's a there's a uh, group body here in uh, called in the Australian Council of Trade Unions. I'm, yeah. I'm the uh, Indigenous Rep for our in Maritime Union Australia on that committee. So sitting down and we're trying to set policies in place to, to help with the, the uh, moving of uh, governance around around the communities in the Northern Territory or any other communities uh, around Australia. And uh, with us, we're, we're as part of the Maritime Union. We're, Building what was uh, called a social compact with different communities. Yeah, we're a part of about I think 20 or so more uh, affiliated unions. Yeah, to get in there and fight for their uh, conditions and jobs. If any companies approach them, we get in the table and help negotiate. Yeah. get the right the sort of standards of uh, conditions and training for them. Well, families. probably for the for the native community, uh, a job like yours is it's a bit rare, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, um, the way they work, yeah, I've, I've never seen. Much of, of my people, Tosh Islanders, get on the the, the, uh, the wharves or the ships here in Australia. Yeah. So it was, I've, I've heard about it. We've they've always been there to help within our uh, protesting and rallies and whatnot for rights and that. So they they were a big part of the uh, what they call the the referendum in 1967. They gave the right for Aboriginal Tosh Islander people in Australia the right to vote. Before that, they were considered under the Foley Jacks. They were part of plants and whatever. They were they were not citizens. So the, country, 67, they got 67. the right. 67. I was born what seven years after that. Yeah. So uh, me, all my brothers and sisters were born under that. You know. So yeah. uh, it's a bit of a shame. But even then, they they came into that recognition. They were as part of the whole thing. There, anyone who was working that time up till the late 80s, were 80 percent of their wages were kept aside in a trustee to huh. uh, so-called help manage their fund. I don't know, but it never came about. And it went towards, of course, the infrastructure of, uh, of the state. Yeah. And that was just Queensland alone that we know of, and all states are just about the same. So. Well, I've been I've been reading about this bloody uh, Reinhardt and the whole thing with the uh, immigrant workers. Yeah, that's right. They're yeah. bringing in. Their tr of course, it's we have immigrant work, a lot of immigrant workers in, in, in the United States, especially in California. And of course, they always attack them when they want to, and then they use them when they don't want to. I mean, here, this the boss is bringing them in, isn't it? And they're that's not right. having rights. They won't have right to be citizens. That's right. I have heard there are some companies that are looking for the offshore part of uh, of, uh, of our works. So I think there's uh, all rigs and whatnot. But there's there's uh, because there's a a certain distance from the land is is our waters. But again, there's another zone for where the work is covered by Australian workers. Yeah. And, uh, these rigs are out further. There is that talk I've heard anyway that they were going to get foreign labour for that. But there's also within our communities that uh, is why we're making a step to come in is that to to make sure there's proper training so those people in those areas can get those proper jobs instead of out, outsourcing those jobs to international. Yeah. You know, and the thing is, they outsource. They don't go to China to help the workers get higher wages. That's for sure. They go there because it's cheap labour. Yeah. So I mean, we yeah, internationally, we're all on a. We should. That's the question. Workers internationally need to unite, not just in countries, isn't that's it? That's right. What we like to say is a global solidarity. That's it, man. What's, uh, what's your name and your union again? My name is Patrick Nellyman, and I'm with the Maritime Union of Australia. All right, man. Thanks very much. Thanks Appreciate much. it.